So the snow Kristen's tracking could help ski resorts. Many say they need it. A slow start this winter delayed the opening to many of the ski resorts around the state. Recent storms are helping, but others say it has not been enough. News 13's David Romero has their reaction this morning. He's live. Good morning. Good morning, Crystal. Ideally, there's still a good month left in the ski season, but that depends on where you go. Now, warmer temperatures have southern resorts struggling. It's hurt our business, you know, substantially. We can still, like today, we're skiing a homeschool program. So we have a homeschool program skiing out there, but it has been a financial hit for us. That's the news from Ski Cloudcroft, where resorts in the southern area say the warmer temperatures have significantly shortened the ski season. Right now, they say their ski totals are down two thirds of what they were last year. That allowed them to keep the top of the mountain open for three weeks before closing it and only keeping the bottom open. It was a late start for almost all resorts around the state with a mild, mild late fall. Recent storms helped to boost the ski base and provide for a somewhat decent season. Meanwhile, Tao Ski Valley isn't seeing outstanding numbers either in snow totals, but they say it's been enough to keep them going. We're a little bit below last year uh, of seasonal snowfall, but things are starting to pick up right now and conditions are looking great. And we also spoke with Ski Santa Fe and they tell us their snow totals are also under, but close to previous years. There may even be a small chance of staying open past their schedule into the season. Crystal, back to you. We sure hope so. Thanks so much, David. Resorts in the northern part of the state, they usually stay open until the first week in April. So if you want to make one last run, you may have some time.